Hello everyone. Hi. Um, here we go. This is the first one of these that I'm going to do. Uh, it all starts here. I am Sterling Lee of Sterling Lee Fine Art. And uh, welcome. Welcome along to my first uh, vlog. My first Sterling Lee art vlog. Um, I'm going to be doing this every week. Uh, hopefully on a Sunday. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to follow the um usual type of uh, art blog this is just going to be about me about my journey about what i want to do where i want to go where i want to take this why i'm doing it my process what i've had to do this week what's been good about this week what's been not so good about this week there's probably going to be about that i'll let you know now um, because um, this is tricky. This is this isn't um, this isn't easy. You don't just pick your brush up and slap bang wallop. There you go. There's a nice piece of art. It's a it's a it's um it's a task. It's a passion. It's um it's what I love to do. It's what I absolutely love to do, and I want to spend the rest of my life doing just this. So here I am. Um, I have a website. Um, www.sterlingleafineart.com and I need to get people to look at that website and this is one of the ways in which I hope to do that I hope to achieve that so by letting you into my um, inner sanctum by letting you into my thought processes and uh, learning a bit about me and just telling you really how I how I uh, just want to do this how I do do it what inspires me how I create my pieces um, and yeah that's what it's going to be hopefully you'll find it enjoyable hopefully you'll find it funny because I like to be funny because what's life if you can't have a laugh and if you can't have a laugh at yourself you can't laugh at anybody else and I'm pretty good at laughing at myself uh, <laughs> I've had loads of practice. Anyway, so, trusty notes, broadcast notes, as they are called. Um, this is where it's going to, this is how it's going to be. Hello and welcome. Done that one. Cataloging my art journey, my journey, all about me, what I do and everything like that. Uh, it's going to be honest, as you can tell. This is all, it's all written down in here. It's going to be honest representation of where I am in my journey what i'm doing and no airs and graces no fluff no big sale um uh, <laughs> buy my stuff you know great but don't buy my stuff but just join along just come and see what i'm doing and just 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 get to understand what it is to be an artist um i don't know why i did that what i did um yeah so um, once a week, every Sunday, my work, my process, what's happened this week, what I plan for next week, uh, my mindset, big thing in an artist, and what inspires me. We've done all that. So, page two already, five to ten minutes of chat about me, um, a little bit about me. Um, I'm a self-taught artist. I've <sighs> been painting for most of my adult life, um, and... Um, really started to take painting seriously i thought uh, about um 10 years ago maybe let's say and if you can hear things jiggling around because i'm sitting on my art table because my art space is actually quite small but more about that later um yeah so and about i don't know four or five years ago i thought i was taking it really seriously and um i started my first website it wasn't very good got someone employed to do it for me um and um didn't really work out very well and i just wasn't promoting it um so last year getting to the nub of this i had a major um life changing event but i won't go into that at the moment don't get you all too depressed um but that has is a major part of why I do what I do now and the way that I do what I do now. Serious voice there for a change. Um, and so to get people, to get you guys and the great big wide world to look at my artwork 
and uh, to love it as much as I do. Um, here we are. So, um, I'll be cataloging uh, what's influenced me in the past week um, and where I'm at with my artwork and I'll be showing you pieces of what I do uh, and how I do it. Um, just refer to the old notes again because I'm beginning to get a little bit stuck. Like I said, it's also going to be straightforward and honest. Um, so, one of the things I've read recently um, uh, was uh, just don't give up, don't give up, keep having a go, don't quit. And uh, I coined a little phrase for myself, don't give up on turning up. So here's me turning up, I'm going to be doing this, as I've already said, once a week. Um, things that I've been inspired by this week. This week, this past week, we've just had a week side in Devon, which was lovely. In the lovely seaside town of Brighton, some nice restaurants there, um, and uh, some lovely beach walks, and uh, which we did quite a few. Uh, and I managed to get my first um, conversation with a new art coach, which I picked up off a podcast called uh, Art Juice, uh, run by Louise Fletcher and Alice Sheridan. Um, two uh, fine ladies who do an excellent uh, excellent podcast all about um, how to make yourself as an artist so yeah so uh, my art coach um, Kevin Giglione Canadian guy uh, abstract artist uh, sent some more work and he critiqued it and advised me on what he thinks I should do to make my work more accessible um, so I'm going to put a bit of that into practice um, I've got a piece that I was working on before I went away um, and that's almost finished. The only thing I have left to do is the hair on uh, this lady who's walking on uh, a beach in the moonlight uh, in a very nice dress. Uh, and this piece is inspired by um, a Scottish female artist by the name of Stephanie Rue, who does a lot of gold leaf work, which I've recently got into and I absolutely love to use. Um, I'll show you that in a little while. Uh, so that will be finished soon. I'd like to get that finished today. Uh, it's Sunday today. Sunday the 12th of September 2021. Um, so if I get that finished today, I'll be able to make a little bit of a start on my next piece. So uh, that's the plan for today. And in the coming week, if I get the one finished today, I'll then be able to photograph it and then I'll be able to get on the website and get it onto Pinterest and get it onto Instagram and onto Facebook. So that in itself gives you a little idea of um, the work that's involved. I do have a day job. Um, I still work uh, as a mechanical engineering project manager in an engineering company. Um, but um, as I said earlier, following my last 12 months, it's given me a realisation of this is what I want to do going forward. So if I'm not working in my day job, this is this takes up pretty much everything else. Plus spending a bit of time with my wife uh, and walking the dogs and eating and sleeping. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, enough of staring at my beautiful face. Um, I will uh, give you a little sneak preview of um, what I work on at the moment. So, just hold there a second and I'll get it from the easel, which is just to the right of my camera. So, here we go. So, sneak preview time. There's the moon. Look at that. I love the way gold leaf and silver leaf just catches the light. It's beautiful. Isn't it? So, that's the moon. And here's the lady. Now, there's the hair that I have to finish off today. Just got the background paint on it, as you can see. And here's her dress. Again, all of the pattern is in gold leaf. And what I've actually done, whoa, you can really see it there. Look at that, how that catches the light. What you can see there is that I, whoops, sorry, just not the camera. What I've done is I've underpainted the gold leaf with. Um, Gesso, which is the the priming medium that you use to 
um, paint and board on the canvas. That's on a board. You can tell that because there you go. That's the centre board, mate. Um, <clears throat> and of reason I paint on the board is because you can uh, get the board very smooth. But I'll talk more about my process a little bit, a little bit later on uh, in the in the following video. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've underpainted the gold leaf with with gesso, so it actually stands above the so that then international sign for above. It stands above the um, the the, uh, the board and gives it depth. So it'll have a three dimensional aspect to it. Um, this I've seen on uh, Stephanie Rue's work, and I just love it. It's amazing. And um, hopefully I've um, I've not done too bad a job on that. There's a few more other bits to the to the piece, like the reflection of the moon in the water. Um, but I don't want to show you all of that today because that's going to be the big reveal when I get the whole thing finished, hopefully um, later on. Anyway, that's me. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I hope you'll um, watch more. I hope to get a massive audience, um, tens of thousands of subscribers in the first week. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> and that's my aim. That's what I need to do. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. Um, so, like I say, hopefully you'll find some interest in this. It'll get funnier. I'll get better. This is the first one of these that I've done, so I'm a little bit notchy, a little bit sticky. But it'll come good because I'm determined and that's the way I'll work. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching this one. Um, you can find my work at, again, www.sterlingleyfineart.com. Um, I'll put uh, some of my references in my notes below this video. And um, hopefully I'll see you again for um, Sterling Lee's art blog. Thanks again. Cheers. I'll see you soon.